Kim Kyungishan Dojian. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go down the six o'clock position on Terminus, the player we know for sure that is our red tier player that is Imba FXO's Braddock. His opponent over at the nine o'clock position. Now, as you can see, sporting the tag lesson for you. And we are under the impression we have been informed that um, we've been informed that this could be a couple of players. Uh, more than likely at the moment, it is Nama, but that could certainly change. And we see some sort of chat develop like we did in game number one. We'll certainly update things as we go along. But uh, Isahara's Terran player spawning over here at the 9 o'clock position. He's our Teal Terran, so we have TVT action on Terminus. Well, the nice thing is is uh, I think we'll know if it's Maka or not pretty quick. If the Terran player does something insane, it's probably Maka. Yeah. If he plays fairly standard, it's probably Nama. If he puts down Maka Rex, it's probably Maka. That's true. Did you did I, I tell you about when I interviewed Maka Prime once and, no. and, he, and I explained to him what the Maka Rex was? No, you I, I interviewed him at the Code oh, Did he qualifiers. not know that people have been calling it that? No, he had no idea. I, I said uh, I said, did you know that when you uh, proxy, well, when you put a barracks in your behind your mineral line at your natural to try to hide it, but it's in an obvious place, they call that a Maka Rex. I'm like, did you know that? And he was like, oh, uh, because. And then I found out that apparently. The Koreans have been calling when you do the uh, two racks marine marauder in TVT a maca racks. Really? So, yeah. So there was already huh. they had their own definition for a maca racks, but either way, everybody wants to name an opening after maca <laughs> apparently. So, yeah, he was like, "Oh, I thought this was a maca racks," and I'm like, "You have a name for a maca racks too?" It was amazing. That is hysterical. Yeah. No, I had no idea. So. Uh, Maka's a, a funny guy, though. He's like one of the players that always tries to troll everybody. I went to the WCG qualifiers once, and for some reason he was wearing a star tail coat and just kind of messing with everyone <laughs> that way. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome, though. He does that stuff. That's fantastic. Okay. But this is probably Nama. Yes, although uh, we do have people checking on that throughout the broadcast, and uh, we'll go ahead, and if we get anything to the contrary, we'll let you know as soon as possible. So, yeah. uh, looks like Nama here, he does intercept that SCV, but it looks like it might actually survive. No, nice job. Good reaction time. Closing down, or uh, opening up the supply depot, so we can actually run, run through and pick that off. Yeah, his well done. His opponent, though, actually ended up going for a, uh, a lot later gas once again. We've seen uh, Braddock play against all races so far, and he's done this really late gas every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, looks like back at the base of Nama slash... Oh, look at that, Maka. Uh, it is a tech lab, so we could see a Reaper coming out. We'll have to see. Could be a Marauder too, but it is going to be a Reaper. A Reaper. All right. Yes, it is. And so, yeah, a reactor going down on the single barracks for Braddock. And did he stop mining after 50? No, he did not. Okay. No. Some there is an expand where you stop mining gas at 50, and then you yes. can get the command center that much quicker. That's pretty popular on but NA. It, but it he still just gives mining. you it still gives you the ability to just pump out mass marines off of that reactor. Exactly. So. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right, so both players actually dropping down their expansions right now. Oh, combat shields, I like that. So it looks like uh, looks like our Teal Terran is going to follow this up with a, a bit of a marine combat shield timing. I, I wouldn't be too surprised. And uh, is he putting up another Reaper? No, nope. just right back into more Marines after that. Yep. Mr. Reaper will run itself in here in a bit. Ah, Marine Mortal showdown. Combat. Whoa, that one already was going to see some health, apparently. Fatality. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you're exactly right. He looks oh, like he wanted to kill that before the Reaper made its way out. Reaper will jump up onto the high ground here. And, oh, Braddock moving away. His Marines at just the wrong time. Oh, nice to have that reactor on the barracks. So he's got a couple more Marines out. It is Maka. Oh, it is Maka Prime. All yes. right, we just got. Thank you, Alex Khan, <laughs> yes. for stepping in and telling we us. just found that. Boom, look at that. Maka. Maka. And that would explain a bit of a bizarre opening there, because Maka does like to do that stuff, like send out a Reaper, then go right into a combat shield timing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, when I saw that, I was like, eh, I didn't want to say anything yet, but there we go. So it is Maka. So here we go, formerly Maka Prime, now in Isahara. Yeah. Isahara Maka. All right, so thanks so thanks very much for that. Uh, if you guys are wondering why the confusion happened, we'll be totally transparent about the situation as we do want to offer our apologies. Essentially, we were set to cast a match. Um, that match did not have every replay that was ready to go, but our broadcast time was about to hit. It's not like we weren't going to present you guys content tonight. Yeah. So um, we decided to go ahead and throw in a substitute match. Said substitute match did not have the players' names by the, the managers that sent them in, so we decided we were still going to give you 
guys great StarCraft It's from content. the same round, just kind of on the other side of the bracket. It so. is still round of eight, yes. It's still correct. the same point. Yep, and look at this push here from Braddock. Pretty good. A couple Marines, a couple Hellions, but those Marauders from Maka are going to do just fine here. He does still need to be a little bit careful. Let's cancel on that. Yeah. Good control here, though, by uh, Braddock, just picking off as much stuff as he can, because obviously he can't attack straight into this. The Marauders would just tear him up. Yeah. And uh, But he did a nice job of just picking off a couple of units here and there as he continues to reinforce. He himself has uh, gone after a tech lab now, sitting on two base, whereas Maka, on the other hand, well, with that Marauder out there trying to get some oh. units back, um, Maka actually has a mess of structure. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> being left hanging. Yes. Oh, now he's not anymore. All right, so while it may be tough for Braddock to bust up the ramp, he's going to need to be careful too. Oh, Maka losing some SUVs down on the low ground. Yeah, how did Maka get so far behind in supply? This is really surprising, actually. Yeah, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. As a matter of fact, he's investing in so much infrastructure and yeah. technology, though. Look at this. I mean, he's set up on many ranks, engineering base, factories, starports, whole nine yards, but Braddock may just kill him. Yeah, he was getting very, very aggressive with the tech, but this game looks like it may be a little bit quicker. Oh, losing the Marines, though. That'll definitely cause this push to get pushed away by Braddock. Yeah, I used the word push a bit too much in that sentence, but uh, it's okay. Not so, enough, in my opinion. So Maka's got a, a tough road ahead of him to come back in this game. Yes. Yes, he does, as a matter of fact. Um, let's take a look. He throws down the scan, though, to see what his opponent has to offer. Uh, we've got 35 SCVs to just 20 at the moment. Wow. A lot right. of workers killed. Yeah. Wow, actually, you know, I, a lot of workers killed, but you know what? Their bases came down at the same time. If you subtract those uh, that five-worker difference... That still represents uh, 12 less SCVs that Maka has built in this game. You know, though, Maka is is really, really known for his very intricate, tight builds. He does like to cut SCVs a lot in the stuff he's doing. So it doesn't surprise me at all, really, that he's in this position. Um, I'm a little bit... I think he is actually surprised that Braddock went for such an aggressive move with those Hellions and Marines early on. Yeah. I think he wasn't expecting that, so his build that would have normally been okay was a, a little bit riskier just because it, it was taking that early damage. Yeah, and he is supply blocked, unfortunately, so no no units whatsoever coming out of him. He's going to need to throw gosh. down a couple more supply depots here in a bit. All right, well, Maka, he's got the one finishing right now, at least. All but right, a few units dropping in now. Siege Tank sitting up with Siege Mode. Let's see if it gets into some burst. No, nice job by Maka to go ahead and pick up and run away. Picked off four SCVs as he runs to the front. Picks off a couple units there as well. Yeah, you can start to see the multitasking come into effect. Oh, and you can start to see what happens when you run units into siege tanks, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Maka, you know, he's still about 30 supply behind, not really finding a place to drop and do too much damage. He might try to drop right here, do a little bit, yeah. Yeah, he may pick off a couple of workers or a couple of marines or something like that, but he's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Could get himself a tank kill if he wanted, but now nope. he's going to pick up and save all of his forces rather than do that. It's kind of nice that he's not exactly wasting these units. I think he's going to try to prevent this from building to slow down a little bit. And pick right up so. and run away. Get, get away! Oh. No, can't leave the oh. Marine behind! Oh. That Marine just wanted to fight, man. He didn't want to <laughs> jump back up in the medevac like some sissy. He ain't no pansy. Uh, sure. <laughs> <too All right. laughs> hey, hey, do not knock the rural uh, Missouri heritage, all right? I'm going to hear it. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> a lot of units rolling out now for Braddock. He actually has a very standard, very nice unit composition in TVT. A lot of Marines, good number of uh, siege tanks behind that as well. Looks like another drop coming in for Maka, though. Yeah, this is a good way for Maka to try to get back into this game. He can't fight Braddock head on, so he's going to try to take little chunks out of him here and there with drops like this. And uh, that missile turret gets destroyed, not canceled. Yeah. And there's the Almost stem. Finishing, man. A couple of SCVs going down. A lot of SCVs pulled off the line as well. And he's going to kill some right up in the front. However, Braddock is rolling right through the front with a very large push. Yeah, that might be a difficult push to hold off, especially sieging up on the low ground like that. Maka is going to need to be pretty careful here. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, wow, Braddock really, really playing well this series, I got to say. Maka's going to have to pull up a miracle to hold this push here. Yeah, certainly. Uh, looks like that barracks is going to fall down here in just a second. So infrastructure starts to be camped, and uh, hey, if you're ever in a situation as a player where your production facilities start getting camped, that is that is just a disaster. Yep, here come the SCVs. There go the SCVs. Yeah, that factory. Oh, he lost the tech lab. He's probably going to lose the factory, too. 
Maka, about half the supply right now of Braddock. Yeah. Not looking good for our Teal Terran. No, but Braddock playing very well at the moment, taking advantage of all of Maka's mistakes. And uh, looks like he is just taking the mics right now. Yep. And no siege mode at all for Maka, so his tank that was out was worth almost nothing. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is probably going to be pretty soon the end of the game for uh, Maka here. Yeah. Samara Maka. Yep. Goodbye, Bunker. Nothing really protecting the natural at this point. Right. Yeah, and this is, this is actually a pretty typical Maka. I mean, he'll try a kind of an interesting crazy build, and if it works, you're like, wow, that was awesome. But a lot of times, we, we saw this in the GSL all the time, too, his build just would not work out. You know, you either miscontrol it, or it just wouldn't be the right build for the right map. Right. And I think that's kind of the situation we've got here as well. Yep, and uh, looks like there's the rest of the flanking down from the high ground as well. There's the GG well played. Well played. Maka has gone down, and Braddock is now up 3-0, putting him at the zone wow. two games away from advancing in those semifinals. 